All right, so uh, the previous class we talked about working with paper space and model space and by now we already know that we print from the paper space so let's get on with an exercise so where we can learn how to print plot and publish our drawings so I just open the same file I go open the first floor plan hit open now this is the first floor plan that I have and if you remember I already set it up for one two and three different layouts now the layout size we have over here is D size layout which is 24 by 36 inches and this one was 8.5 by 11 this page size and this one is 8.5 by 11 as well all three were on three different scales if I would click on that is 1 8 if I click on um, the D size layout over here it's one fourth one and half an inch so when we we try to plot this drawing we have to make sure that we are in the output tab it gives you all the options that you need to plot a drawing now obviously for drawing uh, for plotting this file I should have a plotter with a minimum width of 24 inches okay and then I would feed the paper roll uh, 24 inches wide and that's what I would be able to plot now how do we go about plotting a drawing now the shortcut that we have is control P control P takes me to this window where I could set up my plot or I could even go click right here in my output tab click on plot it gives me the same exact window now when I want to plot there are a few things that we need to see over here first thing is the printer or plotter now you have to go over here and access the plotter that you want to print it on okay so whichever company you're working at they will tell you which plotter are we using to plot the drawing I could even plot the drawing over here or publish it to a PDF like I can take this drawing and convert it to a PDF by clicking on there and saving it onto my computer okay so uh, the next thing is the paper size now the paper size as I told you is 24 inches by 36 inches arch D so it is taking that by default because that's the page size that we have next one is plot area what to plot so I want to plot the whole extent that in everything that I see onto this sheet if I wanted to plot just a section I could go in here click the window and pick just the window that I would want to plot but by default it's always good to just leave it on extents uh, in the plot scale you see there is an icon or uh, a check button where it says fit to paper now you would use this option if you were to print this whole drawing onto a smaller printer maybe a4 size or eight and a half by eleven okay then you would have to click that and then it would print on the smaller size but obviously the drawing would not be onto scale because you are scaling the drawing to fit to paper but now that I know my drawing is 24 by 36 my plotter has a width of 24 inches so it can accept this size of paper so I will print that on a scale of 1 is to 1 so I do not change anything over here I will leave it as it is okay now when I go click that button right there little arrow it gives me more options now one of the options that you see is plot style table or even pen assignments now I don't remember if I talked about pen assignments when I was working with layers but just so you know what are pen assignments 
if I go on my home tab and I go to my layer now every layer that I have been working with has a different color now what pen assignment does is it assigns a thickness to the color some colors would be a thicker thickness some colors would be a thinner line thickness now all these thicknesses are assigned into your plot into the pen settings you could assign it uh, over here as well but we never change this you always use it by default some students who don't understand how the plotting works they would go change the size over here but no we don't do that now every color in the pen assignments is assigned a different line thickness so what happens is when I print my drawing my drawing would have uh, would print my windows a certain thickness my doors a certain thickness my walls a certain thickness my text a certain thickness so all these colors are assigned a particular thickness and they are assigned the thickness in in here in the pen assignments now all we have to remember all you have to remember is whenever you are plotting you have to make sure you select the right STB or a CTB extension file for the particular company that you are working for for example if you are working for a company called AAA and you go in the pen assignments you would see AAA.STB if you are working for a company called uh, called some concepts then you would see uh, STB with the name concepts so all you have to do is make sure when you are printing and you want to print the drawing or the layers or the different color lines onto the right assigned thickness you have to go over here and select the particular STB AutoCAD comes default with all these different STBs but I could always go and click new and create a new pen assignment plot style so I could start from scratch hit next give it a file name hit next and finish okay so now I could go and plot it on the SS dot stb okay I would go in here I could go edit line weights where I could use different colors for different line weights so I'll just go save as right now I'll go save as in the plot styles that particular file you see the extension is stb and I'm gonna replace it now I could I could go in here and go edit line weights sort line weights add style so this is where I would add a style I could give whatever name that I need hit OK now see what happens is I have different colors okay the same color that we have been using for our layers so I would click on red on red I would have grayscale maybe just off now the pen number or the assignment number I'm going to give it as 4 okay line weight I could select whatever line weight that I need for the red color lines and I would hit save and close okay so now anything that I print over here and is red color it would print at 0 0.7 thickness okay so I could go and edit line weights I could go add a style I could go select the next color I would give it another line weight hit save and close okay 
So I hope you understand how this works, but we really never need to worry about assigning these line weights because every company uses different colors for different line thicknesses. So when you start working for the company, all they will tell you, okay, fine, if you are printing on this size of paper, all you have to do is select SSS.STB. If you are selecting a different size paper, they will tell you select AAA.STB. Okay, so that's all you have to remember is basically select the right one before you send in to plot. So now it looks like pretty much everything is set. There's one more thing over here. If I want my plot to be landscape or I want it to be pole rate. Okay. In this case, I'm just going to keep it landscape. Now before I hit OK to plot, I can always do a preview where I can preview what my plot would look like. This icon would center the drawing that is if I want it which is by default on so you can leave it on I'll just hit preview to see if everything looks fine now I did preview everything looks set everything looks onto my paper everything looks onto the right size I can always right click and hit plot now when I hit plot obviously my computer doesn't have a plotter assigned to it so it's asking me where to save the DWF file because when I went to plot see the plotter is DWF so basically what it's doing is asking me to save this file as a DWF now DWF is another uh, AutoCAD file extension which allows you to import the DWF format in different AutoCAD programs like 3D Studio Max, like Revit, so, so many different programs uh, work with importing and exporting AutoCAD drawings within them. So that's where I would use that format. If I were to plot it, I have to make sure I select the plotter that my company or my school has. Okay, so that's one important step. Now if I want it to convert this exact file, instead of plotting, I am going to plot it as a PDF and save it. It's pretty much just like DWF, but instead of DWF, it's a PDF. Everyone knows what a PDF file is. So I will click on PDF. Everything else looks okay. I have assigned my, my plot style pen assignments. I have my right scale extents is on landscape is perfect I will just hit preview now when I hit preview everything looks fine I right click and I plot now it's asking me where do I want to save this file so I would want to save this file into my computer somewhere and maybe right there first floor plan layout now I hit save now see what it did it converted that file into a PDF he's still doing it right now you see that so now this is not an AutoCAD drawing anymore it's a layout dot PDF it's on PDF program I could turn off and turn on some layers from here if I want it turn off the doors okay and this is the drawing that you usually send it to the client you never send them the original AutoCAD drawing because there's a big chance that they can take your drawing and modify it and use it for their purpose so you have more privacy and you can protect your data when you are sending them a PDF file instead of an AutoCAD file now in the next uh, part I would go in the botch plot, uh, botch plot and a few more details that you see over here so the next uh, the next part is going to be pretty small so uh, stay tuned and I hope you understood how the plot works thank you